Good evening, Boy State. Today is Friday, June 17th. From Mountaineer Media, I'm Jason Chapel. And I'm Court and Ryder. Yesterday, the Boy State Bank was robbed. Here's footage of the robbery. <laughs> The court hearing for the bank robber was held today. Last night we had guest speaker Tom Bloom. Here's Alex Mazza with more. What are some of the responsibilities as city as county commissioner? I think the biggest responsibility is budget. So you have to come up with a levy to make sure that the property values are reasonable. And the problem is that not everyone owns property, so they're the people who pay for everyone else. So I think the key concept is that you know the tax structure from the property tax. Also, it's giving the people something back in return so they feel that they're getting something for the money. And, and I think that's the key, the key issue there. And what would you tell the citizens who are on their current city council? On the county commission or the city? County commission or the city council? City council. Okay. I think the key thing is partnerships. Without everyone working together, nothing gets done. So if everyone fights for the little turf, nothing is accomplished and that's what we have a problem with right now in West Virginia. No one's willing to give in a little bit so in the large run, in the longer run everyone succeeds and that's the problem. Thank you. Thanks Alex. Today we had fire service shows where citizens and the fire services could practice putting out fires and rescuing pe people like an actual firefighter. What are safety precautions fighters must take before a fire? Well, they have to be healthy enough. They need to be hydrated enough. Uh, most, most firefighters go into the job about a pint low on liquid and then they sweat a whole lot and then they're in trouble. And uh, so they need to be hydrated uh, tremendously. Today at lunch, we had special guest Attorney General Morrissey. Our reporter Bailey got an interview with him. Uh, what was your life like leading up to becoming West Virginia's Attorney General? Well, I feel very fortunate, first of all, to be in the Mountain State. Um, I moved to Harpers Ferry and I absolutely loved it, just fell in love with the state. Uh, growing up, I was fortunate to have a mom and a dad that taught me, you know, hard work really meant something. And they taught me important values and that's how I tried to live my life. So. Uh, just, I was a believer that just a little bit of smarts, a lot of hard work, and sweat equity, you can accomplish almost anything in life. So I've been very fortunate in my life. Um, in your own words, how can you describe West Virginia like as a whole? Well, West Virginia is an amazing place. Uh, we are one of the prettiest states in the nation. Whether you were talking about uh, Harpers Ferry or the Southern Coal Fields or out along the Mid-Ohio Valley, we live in such a diverse state, people don't think about it so much, um, but we have almost six different parts of West Virginia. So I think it's an amazing place to live. We have the most incredible, kind, generous, smart people. And we also live in a place where people take a lot of pride in their state. When you think about WVU and the Mountaineers, you think about Marshall, people come together behind their universities and people come together behind West Virginia. Even though we may not have the best economic rankings right now, I know that there's an indomitable spirit in West Virginia that's eventually going to allow our state to reach her potential. Defenestrate, what do you think that means? Defenestrate? Yes. Uh, I guess it would be a mix of defense and demonstrate. So I guess you demonstrate Hippopotamonstrosis copedalian. What do you think that means? That's a really nasty disease that a hippopotamus gets from doing something <laughs> really nasty as well. Breverostrate. What do you, breverostrate. What do you think that means? Breverostrate? Yes. It means, makes me think of uh, someone in Brevin who's really tall and straight. Skelecophagus. Um. Do you want to repeat it? Like a, a, a skeleton of a hippopotamus? Hippopotamonstrosis crocodilian. What do you think that means? Crocodilian? Yeah. 
one. Oh, it's, well, you mean crypidelophobia? Because that's the fear of large words. Mycodactylitis. What do you think that means? It sounds like uh, really big dandruff flakes or something. <laughs> Defenestrate. Hmm. And you're definitely straight. Scalicophagus. Tell me, each of you, separately, what you think it means. Yeah, go for it. Sounds like some kind of animal that would live in the desert. <laughs> Thanks, Bailey. With Mountaineer Media, this is Courtney Ryder. And Jason Chappell, and thank you guys for a great week.